We got a letter from a fan. Yes. And uh, I want to talk about this. This is a, a, a nice letter. Right? It was, you know, well, it's interesting. I, I mostly, uh, I mean, I love interacting with people that enjoy my comedy on social media, you know, Twitter sure. and stuff like that. And occasionally I'll get letters, you know, when I'm doing shows. And, you know, occasionally those letters will be handwritten, which is kind of startling because, you know, who's writing by hand? unless they're, you know, like 90 or a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I got a letter, and I'd, I'd love to read it. Sure. I, I, have a, I have it here, and it's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty scary. So just, here, here I'll okay. read it. This is a real letter. Okay. This is a real letter. Yeah. I really got this. Hi, my name is David. I'm just, I'm adding a voice. Okay. I don't know what <laughs> the person's voice I wanted to see you live, but my mom said I was too young to go to the casino. I also saw your kids' video. I would have thrown candy at them. We also listened to you in the car. I think you are funnier than the news. <laughs> Sincerely, David. P.S. My dad is fat, too. <laughs> you know, so it's... I, can we... It's... it's it's pretty scary stuff. Can you we know? see it's... the letter? Let's just yeah. This Look was, it. okay. That's... Jan, this was clearly written by a little boy. That or a murderer. I mean, we don't, we don't know. Well, anyway, I, you know, I had to, you know, I wanted to, I responded. Here's my response. Dear David, <laughs> please do not seek to contact me in the future. If you do, I'll be forced to sue your parents and take away your house. <laughs> you will be homeless. I forwarded your letter to the FBI. Please do not attempt to contact me in the future. I know when I'm being stalked. Love, Jim. Please find enclosed an autographed copy of my book, Dad is Fat, which is available at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com or on iTunes or at a local bookstore. <laughs> All of these links are available at jimgaffigan.com. Oh, God. <laughs> You're the worst. That's... I don't know. He's you know a little what? boy. I, I, I hired a private investigator. You know who this David was? It was David Blaine. <laughs> no, it was. It was. It was no, David Blaine. You're a liar. It was. You're and a you know terrible... what? I'm on to you, Blaine. <laughs> you're a terrible liar. <laughs> it's a true story. Corey. That's not a true story. Now, you, uh, your kids, uh, speaking yes. of your book, reviewed your book. Yes, they did. They did. Before I put them up for adoption. And <laughs> I have five kids. You by have the way. five kids. That's a five lot of kids, kids in this That's month. A lot of kids. I'm one of six, but that yes. was a different era. That well, was the know, late 19th you know, century. Big families are, are like waterbed stores. They used to be everywhere, and now they're just weird. Yeah. You know, people don't get it. Yeah. So uh, we, they, they, we actually have a clip of your children <laughs> doing kind of a book chat where they yes. review your book. They do. They do. Should we take a look at this? Yeah, now? I'd love to see Let's it. Let's take a look. Today's book is Dad is Fat by Jim Gaffigan. Gaffigan. Gaffigan, we have the same Gaffigan. last name. This is Jack Gaffigan who wrote the title of Dad is Fat. Jack, what inspired you to write the title? My dad's fat. Katie, what do you think of your father writing this book? I think he, his name was Dad is Fat. Michael, do you think your dad is fat? Alright, he is back. This is Patrick Gaffigan. Let's get right to it. What do you think of your dad's book? <laughs> they should all be funny. Yeah, they're... That's only a fraction of how many children I have, Conan. Well, let me ask you a question. In real life, you live uh, in a two-bedroom apartment, and you've got your wife, your beautiful wife, yes. and five kids. Right. Right. Well, I know we don't need that much space, but I'm doing it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's very, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's not ideal. You know, I can't walk three steps without running into one of them. And, you know, 12 years ago, I couldn't get a date. And now there's babies literally crawling through my apartment. It's like I left peanut butter out or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I love it, but it's crazy. 